This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. And right now I'm on level 10, Thornbush Farm. Let's see what we have here. Don't blow up any peasants. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's no, not blow up, the, blow up the village folk. Wall true, oh, right away, we have a loop. What's a loop? Ah, everything inside of a loop repeats forever. Not once, not twice, but forever. I've done this a few times, I'm gonna do it forever more, huh? See what I did there? Oh, don't delete code, reload. No, let me escape. Great, thanks, you're gonna let me do it anyways, perfect. All right, hero dot say hello. Okay, and then our hero is gonna say, hero dot say, words, no, no, no. Great, let's hit run. What a loop does, our hero is gonna say hello, words, hello, words, forever. It just goes up and around, forever. Hello, words, hello, words, hello, words, repeats, hello, words. So let's restart this. Everything in here is gonna repeat forever. If it has two slashes, it's a comment. That's for the humans who are reading the code. The computer doesn't even see that stuff. It is just for the programmers. All right, let's see what it does already. We got hero move to 4350. Remember, there is an invisible X and Y graph here. Underneath all this, there's an X and Y graph. So if I hold my mouse over here, X equals 24, Y equals 33. Y? Well, if I go, Y. <laughs> if I go wave down here, Zero, zero starts somewhere way over here. So as I move up, Y goes up. As I move over, X goes up. Okay, invisible X, Y graph. So our hero moves to 4350, 43X, which will be up a bit more, over a bit more, 4350. We're getting there. Maybe here? No. Aha, our hero is moving to there first. Find nearest enemy. So our hero, once our hero is on this X, they look around and we make the variable top. So there now exists in the computer's memory something named top. Even, it, so we now have this thing in the memory called top. Equals, our hero will look around. Even if our hero sees no one, our hero looks around and there's no one there. This variable top already exists. So that would mean top equals nothing whatever a hero finds. So variable top now is created. Equals hero looks around, sees nothing. Well then top equals nothing. Or our hero looks around and sees an enemy. That means top equals whatever that enemy is. Our if statement is to check that. If that enemy exists. So if, if top equals something, if our hero found something, then we drop into this and it will run the code. But if our hero looks around and our hero didn't see anything, so our hero finds the nearest enemy, they look around and they find nothing, so top equals nothing, if becomes false and we skip that. The code doesn't run because it doesn't need to run. There's nothing there, top equals nothing. So that's what this if statement's doing. Let's see what we do next. Then we move maybe over 20, yep, we're gonna go over to here. Our hero relocates to the left find the nearest enemy, and we are gonna name that enemy left. So in the computer's memory, we create this variable left. Then we tell our hero to look around. If our hero finds an enemy, left now equals that enemy. If our hero does not, left now equals nothing. So what we need to do is check. If left equals something, if there is anything there, and we need to use a bracket here, and a bracket, bracket and bracket, we are going to, on this level, we're not attacking. If you read the comment, and again, comments are just for humans. It's not for the computer, it's for us. Computers don't read it. They're just for the programmers, programmers like us. Build a trap at 2534. Oh, well, that's clear enough. So how do I build a trap? Well, I'm gonna look up here. So I'm gonna start typing that stuff in. Build, aha. And we want this to be, what's that? Fire, oop, I gotta have it in those quotes. Fire trap in quotes at 25x, it says, and 34y, excellent. Let's see how that does for us so far. We go up here, we found something, so we should 
Ah, we built something. Find something. We build a fire trap right there. Boom. All right. And he does nothing down there because we haven't set that code yet. So let's pause this because our guy's going to go down. All right. Set a variable for a bottom enemy. All right. Let's continue with the trend here. And we're going to, we already moved down there, right? 4320. We're at the bottom. So let's create a variable bottom. This variable exists now. The data is in the computer no matter what. We're going to tell our hero to find the nearest enemy. If there is no one, bottom will equal nothing. No one, null, if there's nothing. If there is someone, bottom will equal that. This is where we check. OK, if bottom equals something, if bottom is a thing, we definitely need a curly bracket. And then we're going to need a curly bracket down there to close it. Curly brackets are up near the uh, letter P under the zero. You have to hit shift to make them build a trap. All right. So I'm going to just type in build and we need a fire. Whoops. Quotes again. Fire hyphen trap quote. And then we need it at 43. It looks like. And then at 20. All right. Let's run this. See what we got. Running around. Whoa. Whoa. Superman. OK, let's hit submit. See how we do here. Go, buddy, go, go, go. Looking good. Excellent. We are ready to rock. 